with Dr. Gorin, going to ask him a few questions about hair transplant surgery. So first question, Dr. Gorin, what causes male hair loss? Well, interestingly, it's important to understand that hair loss in men is very common. So half of men will lose half their hair by the time that they're 50 years old. And the cause is almost always genetic. So a lot of men think that their hair loss is from something that they did or from too much sun. It's usually none of these things. It's almost always genetic. And when a man inherits male pattern baldness from his ancestors, what you're actually inheriting is a sensitivity of your hair to the male hormone testosterone. So men who don't lose their hair, their hair is not sensitive to testosterone. Men who do lose their hair, their hair is sensitive. And if you take a look at the final pattern of male pattern baldness, where a man has lost all the hair he's going to lose, what you'll see is that he's lost the hair on top of his head in kind of a horseshoe pattern, but the sides and the back remain. And the reason the sides and the back remain is because that hair is insensitive to testosterone. So how does a hair transplant work? So when we do a hair transplant, what we're actually doing is taking hair from the back, permanent hair, we call that the donor area, and we make little grafts out of it, and we put it where you've lost your hair. And in short, that's a hair transplant, moving hair from the permanent area to the impermanent area. What are the risks of surgery? So it turns out that a hair transplant is actually very minor surgery. Even though the word surgery is in that, and I think it's important to understand that we do surgery, but it's very minor surgery. We do the surgery in the office with the patient awake but sedated so that the patient is able to get up and walk around or go to the bathroom. You're not confined to the operating room or to an operating table like in major surgery. The other thing to understand is that the incisions that we do make are very, very shallow so that we're not ever getting near important structures or you know near big blood vessels or nerves. So, uh, the risks are very small. What are the risks? There's a 1% chance of infection. It is very rare, and we give antibiotics preoperatively and postoperatively to prevent infection. Uh, the area that we work on will turn a little pink, so it's uh, important to understand that there will be a little bit of inflammation, a little bit of swelling, um, and that may turn pink and be obvious for about two to four to five days. Um, in addition, uh, when we make the little incisions to put the grafts in, if we do that around existing hair, some of that hair may get cut. It will grow back, but uh, you may notice that your hair is a little bit thinner immediately post-op uh, than when you came in for surgery. And then there's a little bit of bleeding, but it's not enough to affect most people. So uh, to make a long story short, hair transplant surgery is considered minor surgery. It's done with you awake. The complication rate is extremely small, uh, and I've never had a major complication, and no one's ever had to go to the hospital from this. This is very, very easy surgery to do. Okay, and my last question for you is, what makes Gorn Surgical different from the other hair transplant clinics? That's a very good question. So, you know, there are many ways you could run a hair transplant practice, and um, I think the big difference between, let's say, going to Gorn Surgical versus going to a large clinic is number one, we for the most part do one surgery a day. And that way we can cater to that one patient and we're not necessarily doing many surgeries a day and, and, and trying to pay attention to you know, many different operations. Secondly, our pricing is better. Uh, and you may ask, why can you price your operations better than some of the other clinics? And the reason is we keep our overhead low and we don't advertise as much as some of the national uh, brands out there. Um, and then thirdly, we have excellent, excellent techs. And I think one of the issues that most consumers don't understand about hair transplant surgery is the doctor does a lot of the operation and the techs do a lot of the operation. They don't do anything sharp or anything that a doctor should be doing, but the technicians make the grafts and the technicians largely place the grafts. And your result is going to be somewhat determined by who the techs are. 
And there are hair transplant clinics out there that fly techs in from all around the country and have different techs every day. We don't do that at Goran Surgical. We have the same people here every day. We do one surgery every day and our results are very fantastic. So uh, that's what I would say the difference is between coming here versus going to some of the other places that you could go to uh, that may look cheaper, but in truth uh, really aren't. Great. Okay. Thank you so much. All right. Thanks, Katie.